it's very easy with Visual Studio 2012 to create database and connect this database with your Wins Form application. So I'm going to open new Wins Form application. I'll call my project as my data. Okay. Now I need Solution Explorer to be open from View Solution Explorer. Right click on your project and click Add New Item. You can filter these whole components by selecting Data, Service Based Database. And you can rename your database. I'll call it DB1 and click Add. My database model should be Dataset. Next. Finish. Now your database included inside your project. If you want to access this file from project folder, it's simple, open your project folder, db1.mdf, this is your database. From this database item, double click, open server explorer, db1.mdf, I want to right click on tables and add new table. This will be very simple. By default, you will have one field called ID and it will be primary key. You can modify this value, I'll call it index, data type will be integer. So this cell for field name, this cell for data type. Name will be virtual. I finish my work on this uh, fields, And I want to modify the name of the table. You can modify it from here. I'll call it my index. Click update, update database. Now my table is saved inside my database. Now from server explorer window, click refresh, open db1 node, you will have your table inside tables. In order to use this table inside your project, you have to make connection between this table and your project. So I'll open view, other windows, and go to data sources from data sources i'll add new data source your default selection will be database data set and new connection you have to be sure that your data source is microsoft sql server database file if you don't have it you can click change and from this list box you can select microsoft sql here i need to locate my database file click pause from my desktop, here is my project folder, db1.mdf, test connection, perfect, click OK, OK, then next, I have to select tables, because my table inside tables, click finish. Now you can see db1 dataset, have your table, let's say size my form. And from this arrow, select details and drag and drop. Select data gate view and drag it on your form. Now here is my project. And from this control, I can add new and hit save. Now you have. This record saved in your database table and save it. You can delete records. Now you have to do it yourself.